Hi there. Well, as promised, we're behind the scenes. Here's one of the most important pieces of our segment, and this is actually getting ready for the retreat. It may look effortless when all the food appears, but a lot of prep goes into it beforehand. So I'm here today with Kathy and with Jennifer, and they are our cooks for this upcoming retreat. So they're going to give us a little bit of insight. We're here at Smith's Grocery. A lot of cooks, you know, they get to just show up and cook the food, and then they go home and their job is done. For these guys, it starts actually weeks ahead where they have to do all of the menu planning, do all the grocery lists, and then they have to shop for all of the food. And then your work's still not done because then you have to, from here, get it up to the ranch. Yes, and then we once we get it there, we have to sort it into different areas and bins and categorize and also do an inventory of what's there to make sure that we have everything for the retreat. Great. Well, the food obviously is amazing, and for alumni, that's oftentimes what uh, gets us coming back. The one thing that I find fascinating as well, so you have a pretty long day. You know, maybe walk me through the day in the life of a cook. It starts at? 4.30, then we just get ready, go over there, start the boiling of the water, so we have coffee ready for the retreatants, and then Kathy starts her fabulous oatmeals, and then the next step would be preparing for lunch, and that would be the chopping, dicing, cooking, measuring, baking, whatever it falls into. Okay, we've served lunch, and then what do we get to do? Most of the time it goes right into dinner prep and then serving dinner. So we're usually done by seven. And I find it very fascinating, you know, that the cooks actually are a part of the retreat itself. What keeps you doing this? What what gets you excited about being a cook at uh, Vallecitos? There are a lot of things. The beauty of the place, even though we're busy, even though we're going crazy, doing a lot of work, it just feels restful on so many levels. From the very first time I went there, I just fell in love with the place. For me, I mean, it's an honor to be able to do this and to see retreatants in their faces because a lot of the times they have tremendous amount of work that they're doing, whether it's inner or outer, and to know that their basic needs are being met and cared for by people who respect that type of work, it's an honor, an absolute honor. That's great, and that's from gals who are up at 4.30 and don't stop till seven, so. Anyway, that's a wrap. <laughs>